Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle news update. This just in from Oxygen Gym. The video speaks for itself. Ruley Winkler in the magic mirror, posing with his coach. And I gotta tell you, he is looking like one hell of a freak. They call him the freak for a reason. And this guy is probably pound for height. He packs the most muscle of any bodybuilder, maybe of all time. This, this, he looks like the Incredible Hulk. He really does. You know, with all that's going on in the bodybuilding world, with talking about the fact that Sean Roden now will not be in the Mr. Olympia contest, talking about the fact that it doesn't look like Phil Heath is going to be making any comebacks, Kai Green, you never know where, what planet he's on. It doesn't seem like that's very likely as well. I don't think we're going to be seeing Big Ramy in the, uh, in the Olympia unless he pulls off a miracle and qualifies, you know, in the next couple of weeks. You know, people are talking about maybe William Bonac. People are talking about Brandon Curry, who won the Arnold Classic. I think we need to really take Ruley Winkler very, very serious. As serious as a heart attack, because we forgot about him. This was the guy who placed third at last year's Mr. Olympia competition. And, and a lot of people thought, hey, you know what? This guy could have won the show. He was in great shape. He had the most muscle per square inch. He's what we want in a Mr. Olympia, right? Freak factor, you know, galore. Think Ronnie Coleman, think Dorian Yates all these years. Think Jay Cutler. I mean, Ruley's got it all. He doesn't have any weak body parts, you know? Does he, he might not structurally be as good as some of the guys like Phil Heath or, or, or Sean Roden, but he certainly qualifies for what we look for in a, in a Mr. Olympia, which is big, freaky, in great condition, huge back, great legs. He's got it all. I mean, he's got it all, really, when you think about it. The problem is, and the reason why we dismissed him and, and no one's really been talking about him, is because he didn't have a good Arnold Classic. He showed up at the Arnold. He was not at his best. His conditioning was subpar. He probably got a gift in placing in that top five. And so a lot of people wrote him off. But the truth of the matter was, and Brandon Curry said this when I interviewed him last year, Ruley showed up late you know, to Oxygen Gym to start his training camp. He had some distractions. It's hard to come off a big Olympia and then start up again for the Arnold Classic. It's, it's hard to hit two shows in the same course of a year. Probably Ruley really should have taken off the whole year and just done the Olympia or done something, maybe a qualifier close. He didn't need to. He was top three at the Olympia. He was already qualified. So what happened earlier in the year, I don't think is any indication of what Ruley Winkle will be bringing to the Olympia. And this little preview video we see here from Oxygen tells us all we need to know. Ruley is coming. He's bringing it. He knows the Olympia is ripe for the picking. He's got to beat Brandon Curry, who he's beaten already at the Olympia last year. There's no one in the lineup that he hasn't beaten. So why can't Ruley Winkler be the next Mr. Olympia? He checks all the boxes. You know, we talk about Brandon Curry with structure and, and beauty, but he doesn't have Mr. Olympia legs. Let's face it. They're good, but they're not great. Mr. Olympia has always had great legs, you know, uh, you know pretty much. And, you know, Brandon, once again, his legs look really good. His conditioning was awesome. Ruley checks all those boxes that we want. That, you know, when you see this guy guest pose, you know, in the offseason, people get excited because he's, he's a huge freak, you know. He, he looks like a monster. You know, I, I actually sent him a, I sent him a, I don't even use Instagram Messenger, but I, I didn't know how to get in touch with him. So I sent him an Instagram message. I said, you should post that song, I Feel Like a Monster, because... That, when I hear that song and, and they see the Incredible Hulk and all the scenes they, they put in there on, on YouTube, I'm thinking, Ruley Winkler, put some green makeup on this guy. He's the Hulk. They don't even need to CGI him. Just, just paint him green and shave, maybe shave his beard. But the bottom line is that Ruley is coming, and these other guys in this lineup better be very, very scared. I must confess that I feel like a monster. Dave Palumbo with an RX Muscle News Update.